We started when I was traveling in Scandinavia and um, then I was actually looking for a hostel on the street and then I met uh, Melina and since I had my guitar with me we started to make some music and uh, I think we both felt quite a connection with that and so after that I tried, uh, tried I decided to, uh, to return to, uh, to Stockholm and then, uh, then plans were made and I met another guy in Berlin from Oslo and uh, I had quite a musical connection with him as well which is quite rare when you're making music you don't want to let everybody in your like musical comfort zone all the time and um, but I felt it with, with those two uh, Scandinavian people <laughs> and uh, then Melina came to Utrecht once and we decided to make a Europe tour with just an, uh, an amplifier on batteries to, uh, to raise some money on the street and then maybe do something with the money to start a band. But everything we had was so heavy that we, uh, we, we, were, we weren't able to, to travel at all. And we, <laughs> we called the, the guy from Oslo, uh, Sondre. And he had a holiday house, or how do you say that? Vacation house, country house, country, country house, like everybody in Scandinavia has, in uh, and he had one in uh, in Sweden, and we decided to uh, to go there for a week and uh, really simple record some things, just to show uh, show or potential or what I was able to and what Melina was able to and what he was able to and what we could do together, and uh, then things started. I used to live in, in Stockholm. Okay. So, but I come here a lot lately. He's more like here than every, in Stockholm, yeah, probably. Actually. It's a 50-50 right now. Yeah, it's different, but <clears throat> because Stockholm might be like have a bigger music scene, mm -hmm. but it's not as like personal. Here, it seems like a lot of people are like working together in a way that they aren't in Sweden. It's more like in Sweden people like, compete against each other more. Here, at least I have the feeling that you're kind of like. Well, where we live, <laughs> a lot of, of people. Other, yeah. Take your like uh, Canal Island, Island Ach, there's like a, a community thing going on actually. And like here too, the Kytopia thing, but just a few spots in Utrecht, yeah. I think. It's so yeah. everywhere like that. I don't know, I was just there and I really liked the show. And I met Ach like one week before, and Molina too. Yeah. And then the day after in Tivoli, in the smoking room at like two o'clock in the night, I said, like, yeah, it would be a nice band to join. And then yeah. he said, like, you join? I'm like, yeah, and so I was in the band. Oh. Yeah, that was the whole pretty thing. Easy. Yeah, pretty yeah, easy. Pretty and then we started to play, and uh, like this week we play a lot, we rehearse a lot, and it's really getting better all the time. Playing at um, Meet Me Cassius this Saturday. Yeah. Could you tell me something about the concept? Or the, uh, the concept started um, one and a half, two years ago, when I tried to uh, get an Estonian band to play in Holland and then I found some uh, some acts to play with that and it actually went really well and from that point on uh, I was able to organize more of those nights in Tivoli and the thing I try to do is to show um, new bands from outside uh, the Netherlands not so well known bands to the Dutch crowd and um, upcoming small Dutch bands or singer-songwriters to the Dutch crowd. So we play on Thursday in Antwerp, uh, in Trix, with Wood Pigeon and uh, La Grenaille. And they won the Clash of the Titans last year. And we play Clash of the Titans. Band the 9th of February, 21st of February. On my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So 